The NASCAR season gets underway this Sunday with the 61st running of the Daytona 500. Eight drivers in the field have won the Great American Race. News Channel 8's Dan Lucas joins us live from Daytona International Speedway with a look at how one of them plans to do it again, or at least hopes to. <laughs> yeah, good evening, Jen. They're getting ready to start the uh, qualifying races here tonight. And I tell you, driver Denny Hamlin has a lot to accomplish tonight. He hit a lot of top 10 finishes last year, zero wins, but he'd love to end that slump with another win in the Daytona 500. Denny Hamlin! Denny Hamlin loves Daytona introductions. They just feel better when you're a Daytona 500 champion. Hamlin's 2016 victory, the closest in the race's history, will forever stand as one of the great finishes in NASCAR. Really, after winning it, you, you respect it more than what you did before you win it because you, you see every, all the media and fanfare that you have. It's certainly my biggest accomplishment in racing to this point, um, and it will be until we win a championship. Hamlin finished third last year. He was in the perfect position to avoid a final lap crash, but he feels that a win in 2019 may require an earlier move. So far in NASCAR testing and practices, passes have proven to be difficult. I think that track position is going to be massive. You know, maybe not um, for the second through 40th place guys, because I think those positions will get changed more often, but the leader will have such an advantage being out front. Uh, you know, Hamlin actually had a brief lead on the final lap in last year's Daytona 500. Something tells you that things will be a little bit different this time if he's in the same position. Jen, let's send it back to you.